been a while since I've done one of these uh, commentary videos. I started to feel like they were too low effort to make. You know, you, you open up your YouTube and you see all these recommended videos. And it's like Brian F and Double A. They have like these great transitions and these beautiful thumbnails. And just a great production. And, and then you, you see like video essays. And you think, I need to do more. Like I need to edit more. I need to work harder. I need to make better content. I could always make better content topic wise, but I don't think my strengths really lie in like my editing and my, I'm not doing full scale productions, right? And as much as I try to edit like double A, I'll never be Brian F. I'm just not the duo that <laughs> makes up that channel. I think my strengths really lie in just being me, being honest and being human with you guys, you know, humanizing the grind a little bit. That's enough about me. Let's talk about these games and uh, how I've been feeling after Texas Showdown. I'll make a full video on it soon, but uh, I did go three and two, which is a positive record, but I didn't make it out of pools. I got 33rd, which going into it, maybe I would have been happy with that. But afterwards, I wanted more, you know, I, I really wanted to be a competitor in my last uh, Street Fighter Five tournament, not uh, drown in pools, but that... I don't know, that feeling is very bittersweet to me of wanting to make it to that like higher percentage of the player base, right? Because I think when you start, it's very easy to get better than the f top 80% of players, right? Like you get all the way up to diamond and it's like, okay, now you're pretty good. But then like the game really starts, you know, then you have to work your way up through the actual good players. And that's where things get really tough. And that's where I started to learn that <laughs> th these games start to mirror life in a way where you have to do things that you don't necessarily want to do in order to win. And I'm not talking about uh, in the short term, like winning a ranked match. I'm talking about being a competitor, like being a sustainable winner, having consistency. There are things that you have to do that you just don't want to some days or at all. But I don't think you really feel the gravity of it until you're maybe like in the top 10% and you're really jockeying to make a, a name for yourself. Like to really start winning against good people, you don't realize that it can't all be fun and games all the time. When you're working your way up from like, let's just say bronze to diamond, right? Not that the ranks are super indicative of your skill level, but I think it's a very easy scale to use. If we go from bronze to diamond, for the most part, it's fun in games. Like you're learning combos and you're making these great big breakthroughs and strides and every day feels like a new a new game, right? You're learning something new every single day and it's a, uh, a lot and, and they're big, um, huge goals that you're reaching. But as you get higher, you start to make smaller strides. You have to be content with making like 1% strides, if that makes sense. Like you have to be content with getting 1% better every day not 10% better going from bronze to silver and then 50% better going from like silver to platinum. Like uh, it's just not, <laughs> it's just not as big breakthroughs anymore. You're not improving as fast. And you start to hit some walls because the things that you need to work on aren't as clear anymore. Like before it was, I can't input a dragon punch. So I'm gonna go into training mode and do a bunch of dragon punches. I can't do this combo. So I'm gonna go in training mode and do this combo a bunch of times. You could identify why you were losing, which is uh, I'm just not doing damage, I'm just not entering. And then you could go into training mode and like practice it. It's very tangible. And as you get further, it, I, don't, I don't know if it's because you just know so much now or so much information has been crammed into your head you will lose a game and you'll be like i don't even know why i lost you'll watch the replay and it'll be like i can kind of figure out why i lost and i think this is why the answers are no longer super clear and even if some people watch their replays they don't know what to look for and that makes it even harder and so in the end it starts to become tough to even understand what you need to work on and even if you have a mentor like i have a lot of mentors who watch my games who play with me who tell me what to fix but I've been doing things one way for so long that they're just bad habits now and I have to break them. And I'm telling you, for me, it's harder to break a bad habit than it is to create a new one. There's processes for creating habits. You know, you do with something every single day and eventually becomes a habit. But for breaking them, I, I don't really know. Like it's, it's harder for me. <laughs> it's harder for me to say, I'm gonna stop doing this thing for a set amount of time and eventually it'll go away because it's, it's ingrained in me. And that's where you start to get into like the bittersweet nature of these games is that now I need to spend, I need to backtrack and spend time on something that I should have done before in order to break a habit that I have, right? Now I need to do something I don't necessarily want to do in order to get better. And that's when I think the casual players or people who just play for fun get separated from people who want to compete is trying, <laughs> it is the thought that I need to play this game in a way that I do not want to and I know will not be fun but will be good for me in the end. You start to, I don't know, hit the reality of the situation that I'm going to play a video game not to have fun in order to have fun later 
potentially. Because at that point, it's like, well, I'll just get a fucking job if <laughs> I just get a fucking job if I'm gonna do something I don't want to do, but I know will be better for me in the end. I make some damn money, that'll be better for me in the end. <laughs> But that's where, like, the element of, uh, of passion kicks in, you know? It sounds very cliche, it sounds kind of stupid, but that's where the element of passion kicks in. It's like, well, it's, it's not really for the money, it's for the, I don't know, the glory, or for bettering yourself, or for feeling good af at the end of the day. Daigo talked about this a little bit in his book. I, I know you guys are tired of me talking about the will to keep winning, but it's a very good book. You should read it. Uh, he, he talks about in his book how um, getting sponsored and getting money and stuff gave him stability in his life, but at the end of the day, he kept playing the game because he felt fulfilled by it, you know? Like, at the end of every day, he felt like he had gotten a little bit better, and that was fulfilling to him. That made his life feel like it was worth living, in a sense. And I thought that was a beautiful sentiment. Uh, I, I don't know what that is for me in life yet. You know, I can't quite say that that's Street Fighter. I can't quite say that to YouTube or that that's anything yet. I, I'm still trying to figure that out for myself, but it's inspiring to see someone who you respect in like, uh, what do you call it, an industry or a genre uh, of something that you're very interested in. I think I'm in a pretty unique spot because I, I graduate in about, uh, what is it, 10 days? Nine days? Wow. Nine days uh, I'll be graduated and I don't have <laughs> I don't have a job lined up or anything. I don't have anything to do for the next year. That's what I told my parents is I'm going to take uh, a year to live my life. I'm 24. I've spent a little bit too long working on I spent six years working on a four year degree <laughs> because I, I try to cut corners and, and save money going to community college. But you know, credits don't transfer, things like that, you know, life happens. Uh, and I took six years to do it. So I, t I said, basically, I, I took six years getting this piece of paper, this degree that you all wanted me to get, and you graciously paid for, not to sound ungrateful, <laughs> but uh, I'd like to take a year and do what I want to do, which is Street Fighter VI um, and YouTube. I I'd like to try and treat it um, maybe like a job for a year and see what happens, you know? Do the things that I'd like to do, of course, but also, uh, do things that maybe I don't want to do, right? And really live the life of, of a competitor and a content creator and, and see if it's really what I've always wanted to do or if it's just kind of something that I thought would be easy. There's a quote that I saw, I don't even remember who tweeted it, but I, I saw a quote that said, uh, most people who start making videos just want to be paid for playing the video game. And I think I was 100% guilty of that when I started, I really just wanted to post gameplays <laughs> and, you know, to say a couple things and make some money off of it. Because that's what I, people were doing in Call of Duty. That was like the big thing that people were doing in Warzone. The thing that I failed to account for is that those people are very good at the game, right? They don't need to have a personality <laughs> or talk about themselves or talk about anything. They can just play the game and people will flock to them. And I'm not there yet, you know? I, I can't post a commentary list a gameplay video and hope to get any views on it and even if i was i think at this point <laughs> i'd still talk over i still like talking to you guys and i think it's very therapeutic uh to just get on the mic and talk to however many people end up watching but yeah uh, I, I really want to be um a competitive threat in street fighter 6 i was gonna say i want to be a threat in street fighter 6 but it sounds kind of ominous i, I want to be very good at the game <laughs> i want to be very good at the game and i want people to be able to say like i watched him when you know, I watched him when he was this rank and like, you know, he was this bad and he played uh, Street Fighter V, you know? <laughs> I want people to be able to look back on these times fondly and say uh, how far I've come. Or, or for me myself, to just see how far I've come. I wasn't really able to reach uh, any of the goals that I set for myself by the end of Street Fighter V. I wanted to win a tournament, I wanted to get to Grandmaster, I wanted to hit 10,000 subs before Street Fighter VI came out. I didn't. Uh, hit any of those you know the unholy trinity i guess the more i think and reflect on it i think it's fine i think i got the effort that i put in <laughs> yielded the rewards that i deserve so i know that in six uh, i won't let it happen again if i want something i just have to work a little bit harder at it you know play to my strengths and not uh not get so caught up in what other people are doing i guess both on youtube and, and in the game that's kind of the end of my rant. If you made it this far, uh, leave it in the comments. Because, uh, like I always say, I don't know who makes it all the way nine minutes through me rambling. But uh, I'd really appreciate it if you left a comment and let me know. And I'll put a little heart on it and, and reply or something. That, that's all I can really do for you, right? <laughs> I just want you to know that you're, you're appreciated, right? Like, I, I appreciate you sitting through nine minutes uh, of me talking. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please consider subscribing. And I'll talk to you again very soon.